game, which, so, which was such a, so grueling and physical that it maybe took something out of both of you, whether it's not in the actual games you play, but maybe in the preparation for the games you play? I'll, I'll be honest, I have thought about that uh, a little bit, and, and part of that is I've, uh, you know, you talk to several people that uh, weren't necessarily emotionally tied to either program that watched the game, and they, they, I've never been involved in a game where so many people commented just about how intense the game was, and apparently that came across on TV. Sure felt that way on the sideline, so that is possible, and it's certainly given me pause to uh, think about, you know, we've never been involved in a championship game playing in December and then going to a bowl game, so maybe we need to reevaluate that as part of our bowl discussion. And, uh, yeah, it was just a, you know, so I'm not going to use it as an alibi, but maybe it was a factor and maybe we need to consider it a little bit more. Uh, but the bottom line, too, to that is that we, uh, you know, we still, I think we've had some really good discussion about our approach for bowl games moving forward and eager to see, first of all, eager to see if we can get into a bowl, and then secondly, hopefully, we'll have a little better approach moving forward here. Traditionally, you, you would go out about nine days before a game. Is that going to shrink a little bit? On I think it is. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're all in agreement right now, and uh, we're going to probably, you know, shrink that down a little bit. And, uh, one thing that makes that easily, uh, easily, Executed for us now is the fact that we've got a great place to train at home, and you know, we've got all the comforts of home. I uh, can't imagine a better, a better setup than that. So uh, I think that'll force that opportunity, and hopefully we'll get a little better balance on that whole thing. You mentioned this morning CJ came here, and I want—I don't want to say skinny, but he was rangy when he came here. He was skinny. Uh, yeah, he was skinny uh, sure. Can you chart his growth? And maybe you know, I remember oh, Carl Clue was telling the story with that six-eight dude from Bloom County. Picked him up and carried him down the field. Does CJ have any of those sort of learning moments physically? Or yeah, I don't know about that. I, I, His quarterbacks you know, are different. Yeah, when I think of Carl, I think of a guy. I remember him not being the last guy out of training. He was just sitting there eating like a robot kind of. And um, he's probably still doing it to this probably day. In fact, I was with him this uh, winter. It sounds like he is. Uh, I don't remember CJ going in about it quite that way, but just that natural maturation that takes place. And you know, it's, it's really typical for uh, any college player. As long as they're training right and eating right and resting right, those types of things. And I was always interested in the NFL, believe it or not. And I think they, they, uh, some people miss the boat in scouting. Uh, guys, their first couple, three years, four years in the league mature as well physically, uh, not just uh, mentally. So, um, you know, if you factor that in from the recruiting standpoint, they'll get hung up on guys' size. Uh, I think maybe it opens the door for some, some good prospects. And we were never concerned about his size. We were when he got here. I don't get me wrong. But, and we were always optimistic that he'd get to a point where he could, you know, Chuck Long was, uh, he, That's right. he looked like a twig when he got here. I remember that, and we were both freshmen in 81, and boy, he was, uh, he was skinny. CJ also came in 2012, same year Greg came, a four and eight year. Yep. Do you need any mental sort of reassurance that things weren't always going to be for it? I mean, that uh, you guys hit a low and things were going to happen. Yeah, there's always a little bit of a leap of faith there, but, uh, you know, if, we, we never gave him any extra medicine on that, and, uh, you know, if, if he ever uh, was wavering at all, it never showed. He never let that uh, come across by any stretch. And, you know, he, he's just uh, he's a remarkably young man. He just, uh, and I think we all got to see that last year. Uh, talk about a guy just handling really tough circumstances in a really admirable way. Uh, and we were seeing him on a daily basis, you know, so uh, as you might imagine, the respect that he, he gathered and he garnered just uh, from everybody involved. Uh, you know, just it got magnified as year one. All these guys came in.